Hi, this is Joe, and welcome back to the shop. We're starting our fourth video in the series, Money Saving Items for the Shop. This week we're going to make uh, some pedestal stands. I have an anvil I want to mount, and I have a tubing roller I want to mount. So I'm going to be making some pedestal stands. I went over to Harbor Freight, and they have a really nice pedestal stand for right around $60. Uh, but I went over to the, our local metal supply uh, salvage store and picked up a, a four foot piece of four inch square tube. I picked up uh, three 12 inch by 12 inch quarter inch plate and uh, almost a 12 inch uh, in in uh, 12 inch in, in diameter of a uh, quarter inch plate. So what I'm going to do is this is going to uh, be enough materials to make two pedestal stands. One about 30 inches tall and then uh, then the 18 inches tall for the anvil and I'm gonna have a small rolling stool that I can sit on and uh, then work work on the anvil uh, using the, the stool and the small pedestal. So what I'm gonna do is uh, start prepping the metal, getting ready, uh, grinding off the paint and the rust and getting it all ready uh, to put cut and put together into the pedestal components. Uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, show you some of the segments of, of uh, putting it together. I'll try to spare you a lot of the details of grinding and cutting, maybe just a few uh, segments of each. So let's get started. doing a little grinding here. Um, I'm going to go through with a 40 grit uh, uh, pad and strip down uh, all the paint off this uh, 4x4 um, piece of tubing and uh, then we'll, we'll touch up the, uh, the quarter inch plate as well. I'll spare you the details, I'm just showing you what I'm going to do. Then uh, we'll take the, uh, the grinder and grind off the uh, ends square. So I'll go ahead and do that off camera. We'll come back uh, when everything's ground, let you take a look. We just got done grinding all of the paint off the square tube, removing all the rust and crud from all the uh, flat and round plates. Now what we're going to do is uh, trim the end, the edges of the uh, square tube, cut them to length, 130 inch, 118 inch, and then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use an etch and prep on the metal to remove the uh, mill scale from the hot rolled steel and prep everything for welding and drill some holes in the uh, square plates, uh, the square plates to fit uh, in my shop floor I have some um, bolts mounted into the floor so um, the anvil is just going to be freestanding I'll pack, pack some sand in the tube to uh, absorb the uh, pounding on the anvil but on the uh, the 30 inch uh, pedestal I'm going to drill some holes in the uh, quarter inch plate to bolt to the floor and that's going to hold um, a uh, tubing roller uh, on that pedestal. Uh, so okay, let's uh, let's set up the uh, chop saw and do some cutting. I have the chop saw set up. Notice I have a level setting on the square tube. I want to make sure that I square those ends up exactly so when I weld the uh, quarter inch plate on the ends uh, everything will be square uh, to the ground so uh, whatever I mount to the pedestals will also be square. I'll cut uh, one end for you and then I'll cut the rest off camera. Uh, you'll get the idea on the one end cut. Here we go.
make another small uh, trim cut because uh, I uh, didn't get the the uh, lower side is still a little off so I'll make one more cut on that uh, I'll do it all off camera and then I'll show you the cut pieces when I'm done we've cut the uh, square tubing now to size uh, next step is going to be to use the prep and etch uh, solution it's an acid solution um, because I can't get on the inside of the square tube to uh, sand, we're going to uh, brush on a thick coat of the, uh, the prep and etch on the inside, let it sit overnight, and then rinse that off with water. Uh, the mill scale on all the pieces uh, will spray on a solution and uh, let it set for about 10-15 minutes. Use some sandpaper and uh, sand, sand the, uh, all the pieces down the, uh, the uh, square plate, round plate and the square tubing and that should remove all the mill scale. We'll wipe everything down and then we'll prep for welding.